Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X Research and Professional Physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled, The Sun Simulating Orbit is a Project and Concave Mirror System. Now, figure one shows some screenshots from a balloon flight into the upper atmosphere. Like with the first balloon flight footage that I examined, more than one simulator is visible from the balloon's position once it reaches a high altitude. And for more details on that previous one, you may look at Article 771. Now here you can see um, the simulator. Obviously it doesn't look like the sun, it's not perfectly circular, it's not yellow. And it has these beams coming off it. And as the camera rotates from right to left, at least two sun simulators come into view within a 360 degree turn. So the camera rotates this way, it sees this one, and then after about something like 180 degrees, definitely not 360, this one comes up. So there are at least two. In the previous one, Article 771, there were at least four. Now, as you can see, there's this pink light around the object, uh, around uh, the light source. And this suggests that a magenta uh, light source is being used. And of course, it looks white because any light will look very bright. When it's very bright, will look white. And it's only on the outside when it's not as bright that it will look its real color. In this case, magenta. So, as I said, there are these beams. So you can see the beams are, at least this one, seems to be perpendicular to the horizon. Or very close to perpendicular to the horizon. And this one is at a certain angle to the vertical on different sides. And that is significant. So the beam's positions depend on whether the simulator is to the left or to the right of the camera. So here the simulator is to the left of the camera, and here it's to the right of the camera. And you can see this long beam here is to the left, and here it's to the right. And if you watch the video, you can actually see it shifting from one side to the other. But it doesn't shift through all these angles. It just, it's either on this side at a certain angle, and as the camera's position changes, it suddenly, uh, it disappears and then appears on the other side. And that's what's to be expected when, are, when we are looking in a mirror. So the lower beam seems to remain perpendicular to the horizon, so there's are associated to the simulator, not the camera. But the upper one changes side as would be expected if it was an image in the mirror. So the image we see in the mirror is dependent on our position with respect to it, and this is what we observe here. So this has to be a virtual image created by a concave mirror. As only a concave mirror creates a magnified virtual. That means that the image is behind the mirror. And this is what we see when we look at ourselves in a mirror. We see ourselves behind the mirror. So it's a virtual image. So in this case, it's a virtual image. But only a concave mirror can produce a magnified virtual image where the object... Um, in, in the mirror will look much larger than it actually is. And this is what we would expect them to use in the case of a simulator. Now this one comes from another balloon flight. The light source seems to be blue and green. And you can see this lens flare on the lower right here is actually a real image of the sun simulator created by light reflecting off the concave mirror. So this is where the concave mirror is, and there will be a projector at the focal point of the mirror, and it produces two images in that case, a virtual image behind the mirror, and that's what we see when we look at the mirror, and then it produces a real image from the light that is reflecting off the mirror. And so this is what we see then. So this actually shows us what the arrangement looks like. There's the mirror. 
there's the projector at the focal point you can see it's green and blue that's what that's the light that's being projected onto the mirror so this seems to be a blue and green a laser uh, light source there that's being reflected off that concave mirror and a similar one has been observed at a much lower altitude so i recognize the lens flare immediately so and you can see that the, this lens flare is always on the opposite side to which the mirror is so the mirror here is to the right of the camera and the lens flare is to the left and there as well but even more to the right so the lens flare is even more to the left it always remains aligned to uh, with it and you can see that it's turned downward slightly that's why the lens flare is below the center of the image and as you can see it's on the left and the lens flare here is on the right it's always aligned with it because it's produced by it it's produced from light reflecting off the mirror uh, so these are this is real uh, light rays that intersect here and um, so this is what we see then so this has to be a concave mirror that's the only way if this was a lens flare from just a bright object in the sky as the object moves in this direction the lens flare would move in that direction as well and it would look they would look exactly alike they these do not look alike this does not look like that that the real lens flare is a secondary image of the object and this is a real image uh, it's a primary real image of light being reflected off a mirror it actually tells us what it looks like this mirror and the projector now this is the one that was observed in the atmosphere this is i believe one of the planet x objects in the skies behind the cloud whilst this light source is aligned with this lens flare in this case it's red and violet so the that's the projector light that is being used and it looks uh, like it's in front of this mountain as you can see so it's in the foreground so it's close and so it's in the lower atmosphere but it's the same arrangement this is aligned with it and that tells us this is a concave mirror in the sky that's what that simulated design is that's what they are using you may look at article 752 for more details on this now here you can actually see a concave mirror in the sky so this is a sun simulator concave mirror that's actually caught in the sky in this photograph by sky watchers well it's actually a screenshot from a video but as you can see it's concave it has a jagged edge it's bent upwards here so this is what these would look like obviously this one is not in operation at the moment and uh, they seem to have a blue painted surface there so this would be the likely design this is an illustration this would be the concave mirror the projector would be at the focal point there and so this is the this sun simulator's reflection off the surface of the earth this seems to be ocean there so it reflects light very well and but you can see how wide this is the real sun's reflection on the earth's surface would have a width of only 0.52 degrees that's an angular width of 0.52 degrees but the sun simulator's reflection seems to be much larger than that it seems to be about one-fifth of the angular width of the earth seen in this photograph so about one-fifth of the total length of the image so what we have to do is determine the earth's angular width that is seen in that image and to do that uh, we can use this we can use that the angular width um, for a part of uh, the earth's circumference say from there to there 
if uh, it's given by this angle theta e here, that's the same as that angle there. And these are tangents at these points at the edges of uh, the angular width. Okay, so from the center to the edge, if we draw a tangent at these points, and then we can determine uh, the angle at which these intersect. And that is being done in the image here. So this is the tangent at this point about the center there. And this is the tangent at the edge there. And this in, in the drawing program that I use, it was 33 blocks and this one was eight. So from that, we can calculate the angle. I just calculated in radians. We could have used uh, tangent, but it, it's very close. It doesn't matter. So I just use radians. So that's eight over 33. And uh, we need twice that for the total angular width from here to there. So it's 2 times 8 over 33 radians, you convert to degrees, it's about 28 degrees. So the Earth's angular width from here to there is about 28 degrees. And so the Sun simulator was about a fifth of that, so divided by 5 we get 5.6 degrees. And that's at least 10 times larger than the real Sun's angular width. Um, so that's additional evidence that this is not the real sun, but of course we have overwhelming evidence already that this cannot be the real sun, it's a sun simulator. And the sun simulators replace the real sun, which has disappeared from the sky because the real sun is not emitting visible light like stars are supposed to. And you may look at Article 723 entitled The Sun is Gone, the Sky is a Simulation. And Article 845 entitled The Sun Now Emits X-Rays and Extreme Ultraviolet Versus Visible Light Due to Planet X. For more details on that. So in conclusion, the evidence that the real sun has been replaced by a sun simulation system keeps mounting. The sun simulators in orbit seem to have a projector and concave mirror design, just like the ones within the atmosphere. And these are the references. And in the description box below the video, there are links to a website where I've I have been posting some of the latest articles and links to where our books are available and here are some of them. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.